Viv, come on, it is not a lie. Oh, yes, it is, yes, it is. Every time I look in the mirror, all I see is a woman who can't tell her husband the cat died. <laughs> you are blowing this all out of proportion. There is nothing to feel guilty about. I mean, it's not as if you killed the cat to get the money. <laughs> Oh, no, but it's when I was burying her that I got the idea about keeping the money. But why should I be dependent on some man for money? Right now, it's Arthur. Before that, it was Chuck. I, why should I have to be miserable all my life just because when I was 20 years old, some boy who reminded me a little bit of, of Van Johnson came along under my window strumming his damn ukulele and singing Deep Purple. Fair. Oh, now stop. Stop that, Chuck! I don't want to get married! I want to go to New York! I want to have fun! I want to be free! I said, stop that, Chuck! Stop that! Sylvia! Sylvia, that's not funny! <laughs> this is disgraceful! You threw water on Sylvia Kirshner's husband! Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Actually, I was getting ready to pour water on him myself. But I'm so unhappy. <laughs> you know, I don't really want to leave Arthur. I really love Arthur. I just want to be appreciated. <laughs> I want to be necessary. <laughs> I feel like a real woman, like that, like that punky Sally Houser. <laughs> Your trouble isn't Arthur, and it isn't Chuck, it isn't even Deep Purple. It's you. Breaking up your marriage isn't going to help. No. Viv, it's not going to give you that freedom. Standing up for yourself is going to give you that freedom. Vivian, let those people down at the museum know that you think you're worth something. Then they'll think you're worth something. You're right. They should pay me. I am going to insist that they pay me. You think they will? Oh. Yeah, well, sure they will. Unless they don't. Oh, there they will. <laughs> what about Arthur? You're going to tell Arthur the truth. You're going to tell him there are going to be changes. Changes in your marriage, changes in your relationship, changes in you. When he goes to bed at night, there's going to be a new Vivian Harmon lying next to him. Arthur likes separate bits. Another change he's going to have to get used to. <laughs> Hello? Yes, she's here, Arthur, and I am not a big Budinsky. <laughs> it's Arthur. He drove all the way up from Tuckahoe, Viv. He's, he's downstairs. Oh, my... What, 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 what am I going to say to him? You're going uh, to say to him all the things that you said you were going to say to him. <laughs> You were the one who said I was going to say all those things. Why don't you say them to him? Now, listen to me, Vivian. You are at the crossroads of your life. Now is the time for you to decide whether you're going to be a woman who stands up for yourself or a doormat. Hello, Arthur. This is the new Vivian Harmon speaking. Arthur, I love you too, and I want to come home, but not as a doormat. Now, 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 Arthur, there are going to have to be some changes made. First, I am going to work at that museum, and they are going to pay me so I don't have to depend on your $7 a week allowance. And second, we're going to move our twin beds together, and I don't care about your post-nasal drip. <laughs> Arthur, wait, wait. Before you agree to my terms, there's, there's, there's one other thing I have to tell you. Now, Arthur, our entire future as man and wife may depend upon how you accept what I'm about to say. Arthur? The cat died two years ago. <laughs> 